Hi, welcome to Courtney's Tea Time. Just kidding. Just playing around. I hope you guys can hear me. The fan behind me is really noisy. Not much I can do about it. It's a box fan, see? And so anyways, let's continue on. A couple of things. First, I will lower you down here so I can try and show it to you. So you see that cute little shelf right there? We stopped at a sale and thrifted that at a, at a like a yard sale. This lady was amazing. She uh, put it in a great way. Her property was beautiful. Her home was beautiful. Her garden was beautiful. Everything was perfect. And she talked about the plans to have cows. Well, she, very nicely, she says, this is what happens when an investor meets a farmer. Yeah, they nailed it. It was beautiful out there. Yep, I'm drinking a Coke. Went for a ride today, had to go do some errands. Wouldn't you know it? The open house sign that our real estate agent had put out front, somebody took it out of the ground and threw it over a locked chain link fence that we can't get into to retrieve her sign. Like, well, maybe that's why nobody came to the open house. So anyways, we'll get it figured out, you know. So I called the maintenance man and I left a message asking him if he could please go inside the chain link fence that's locked, retrieve her sign for me and drop it off here. And then, uh, let's see what else, you know, so to continue the conversation about, you know, how life is here, you know. Um, last night we went to bed to the crackling sound of fireworks. How lucky are we? There is nothing more wonderful than cuddling your puppy and a big boom happens and the poor little puppy just about jumps out of her fur. But hey, who are we to complain, right? There is no one to complain to. I guess the complaint department's in the back. You know, doesn't matter. I want to readjust myself here, try to get a little comfortable, okay? Thank you. So, let's see what else was there. There we go, much better. So then, um, you know, the usual coming in, it's dirty, it's filthy, people don't care. Here's the thing, it's not about keeping up with the Joneses, okay? Not at all, that, that so went out in the 80s and 90s. What it is is if my neighbor's yard is clean, let me clean my yard. That way my house looks just as good as his. All, it's just like making your bed. Make your bed in the morning, you won't believe how much more better your room looks. Just that little simple task. Uh, let me throw away the garbage out of my yard because my neighbor doesn't have garbage in his yard. Let me mow my lawn because my neighbor mowed his lawn. Well, guess what? Then the people next to you might mow their lawn because they see that your lawn is mowed and how nice your house looks, you know? And it doesn't matter if you're in a house that was built in 1940, 1901, or 1999, you know? It doesn't matter, you know? What matters is how the outside looks, you know? And I just, simple things, simple things. But it's like I said, you know, complaints don't matter. It's not gonna go anywhere. But I felt so bad when we left and came back and her sign was still inside that locked fence. When I left here this morning, I could see it in there. I was like, well, might be why no one came to the open house. Nobody knew about it that drove by. And then, you know, just the usual thing, gotta maneuver in and out of the cars, kids out of the road, you know. Um, you know, I could say a whole lot more, but I'll put it to you like this. 
we won't even talk about right here in my neighborhood. There's a route I drive every day, five to seven days a week. I drive that route since 1999. Okay, since 1999, I have driven that route. Well, now there's a lady who is standing there on the sidewalk with that little girl. Obviously it's hers and obviously she's pregnant and obviously she has crossed over the Rio Grande. I don't think she's from Mexico, but I think she's from somewhere else because she's dressed old ways with the head thing and the long skirt and she just looked like hot, you know? And she stepped off the sidewalk and walked across the street and walked up to our car and held out her hand and went like this, you know? It's like, I'm not rolling down my window. I don't know what you have, okay? We're already here in this country fighting one thing. I don't need you adding another layer to it. I don't know if I would do something to offend her and her <laughs> and spit on me. I don't know this. You know, isn't that awful? If that's what was going through my head, if I opened my window to give her money and I didn't do it right or give her enough, what, what consequences would I suffer? And besides that, she's the one who came here to this foreign country to her. Don't come here asking for a handout. You come here already able to take care of yourself because I would never show up in a foreign country Tell the foreign country, okay, support me, take care of me, here I am. If I'm going to immigrate to that foreign country, that is my responsibility to take care of myself. Go somewhere, take a class, learn the ways of that country, and get going. And I will give you an example. We went to Victoria, BC, and when we went to the museum, the way it was laid out and everything, I told my husband, I said, if you want to become a citizen of Canada here, you just come here to the museum and take a tour. Their information about their country, I'm sure that would be on the test. The answers are right here in the museum. You know, so that's what I would do if I went to another foreign country, go hop in their museum, study, go to their library, study. You don't stand out on a street corner asking for money. There's another YouTuber, and I've been messaging her. She's traveling across the United States. She wanted to know in Washington State what towns or cities or whatever to avoid or whatever. A lot of people told her about the homelessness in Seattle. She made her video yesterday, and she sat there. She goes, y'all warned me. And I think she's from Atlanta. And she goes, y'all warned me. She goes, but I didn't think it'd be that bad. She goes, but it is bad here, really, really bad. And I told her, I said, yeah, down in Tacoma, they have the overflow of Seattle. Yep. So, I don't know. Just a whole lot more going on. And, you know, not that I'm being mean to that lady or anything, but how dare you come here when we're already trying to take care of ourselves and then you want a free ride. I would never have gone any place and expected that I would get a free ride. We all have to pull our own weight. You have to be a contributor to society. Make a contribution some sort of way. And if she's in need, go volunteer at a food bank. They'll give her food if she needs food. So the YouTuber who's traveling across the U.S. and stopped in Seattle was talking about how there were two ladies sitting out on the sidewalk and one of them had a baby, a nice stroller, an iPhone, and was talking to someone on the phone and she was holding a sign saying homeless need help. And the lady was watching her and her phone rang and somebody talked to her and so she got up and pushed her baby down the corner 
and it turned the corner on another block and there was another lady with an iPhone talking to her and it was pointing at other corners and she goes obviously that's the lookout you know and she goes now they're using homelessness as a way for them to make money so what do we do do you have any advice I don't think so that anybody has any more advice than the rest of us do I know nobody has an answer to this mess. There's no way to clean this up. I don't see a end game. I don't, you know. I think it was very rude of the lady from the foreign country to be asking for a handout, you know. And uh, I don't know when it'll stop. You know, I'll put it to you like this. I've never had anybody from England homeless out here asking for money. So why should we ask? Assume that the people who cross the Rio Grande are entitled to handouts. It's wrong. It's just wrong, you know. And I just really feel like I'm stuck right now. But you know what? It, it's probably just something I can't see. It's going to come, but I just can't see it right now. And God's going to take care of this, and he's going to give me direction, whether it be... He lets me know I need to stay. And he's not going to talk to me in a voice. It'll be a message some sort of way to either stay here or walk away or something. He's going to guide me. He's going to, the answer will come. It will come. And I just have to be patient and look for it. Well, so I think that's good for now. And we'll just the house up for sale, the sign out front is just beautiful. We'll see how it goes, you know, and I'll just keep waiting for that sign to come. Well, you all have a great day, no matter how frumpy grumpy I look or sound. Just have a really good day, okay? Talk to y'all later. Thank you for stopping by.